Understanding of a universe's evolution has always fascinated humanity, and as our knowledge deepened, we realized something even more profound. Our very bodies are composed of elements forged in the hearts of ancient stars. By 1957, it became clear that the night sky, far from being a mere visual wonder, is a reflection of the staggering forces that govern the cosmos. The universe is constantly in motion, teeming with activity and mystery, much of which remains beyond our comprehension. We are left to wonder about our place in this immense system, why we exist, how planets and stars came to be, and what other possible outcomes the cosmos might have entertained. Yet human nature often leads us to overlook cosmic phenomena until they become pressing or potentially dangerous. One such example is Betelgeuse, a massive star in the constellation Orion that has recently begun to show signs of instability, trembling in a way that suggests something significant and potentially ominous may be unfolding. Betelgeuse is not just another star. It is a red supergiant, a colossal celestial body whose sheer size dwarfs that of our sun, making our star appear minuscule by comparison. Located over 640 light-years from Earth, Betelgeuse's apparent brightness in our night sky belies its true distance. In cosmic terms, 640 light-years is a vast expanse. Traveling at the speed of light, it would take more than six centuries to reach it. With today's technology, realistically, it would take over 12 million years to cover that distance using conventional spacecraft, a span of time far exceeding the entirety of human history. This puts into perspective the extraordinary magnitude and power of this distant star, which has been exhibiting intense trembling and instability for some time. Although stars appear serene from Earth, they are anything but calm. Regardless of their size, stars are dynamic systems governed by complex physical processes. Scientists have long studied Betelgeuse due to its pulsating nature. It is classified as a variable red supergiant, meaning its brightness fluctuates over time. These pulsations are driven by internal mechanisms that cause the star's luminosity to vary in cycles ranging from tens to thousands of days, depending on whether it is expanding or contracting. These variations make Betelgeuse an object of intense interest, particularly since its changes in brightness are unusually pronounced. Its magnitude has been observed to fluctuate between 0 and 5, a remarkable range that reflects the star's volatile nature. Betelgeuse's brightness variations follow specific cycles. The shorter cycle lasts approximately 185 days, while the longest spans over 2,300 days. These cycles can be measured with great precision and have offered astronomers critical insights into the inner workings of the star. In February 2021, the star's V-band brightness dropped to 1.1614, one of the lowest levels recorded in years, an anomaly that deviated sharply from its historical pattern. This drop triggered concern and further observation, as it hinted at deeper changes occurring within the star. Betelgeuse's striking red hue adds to its intrigue. This color results from a relatively low surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, significantly cooler than the sun's surface temperature of approximately 5,500 Kelvin. Despite its massive size, this lower temperature means Betelgeuse emits less energy per unit area than our sun, which paradoxically makes it appear less luminous in certain contexts. What makes the current situation more alarming is that Betelgeuse, while typically stable for a red supergiant, has recently transitioned into a more volatile phase. This shift is believed to be tied to changes in its core. As with all stars, the fusion of hydrogen into helium fuels Betelgeuse's energy output. However, in red supergiants nearing the end of their lives, the hydrogen in the core becomes depleted. This depletion causes the star's outer layers to expand as the core contracts, leading to increased instability. During this stage, helium begins to accumulate around the core, initiating a new fusion process known as helium shell burning. In this phase, helium atoms fuse to form heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen, releasing bursts of energy that counteract gravitational collapse. Unlike hydrogen fusion, which occurs more steadily, helium fusion is erratic. This irregularity causes bursts of energy to build up and release in impulses, disrupting the star structure and creating powerful stellar winds. These winds expel vast amounts of material from the star's outer layers, a process that further alters the star's internal balance. As a result, Betelgeuse's outer shell undergoes continuous expansion and contraction, a rhythmic phenomenon we observe from Earth as changes in brightness. This pulsating behavior is akin to a cosmic heartbeat, revealing the turbulent life hidden beneath the star's surface. To understand these phenomena more deeply, astronomers rely on two key observational techniques, photometry and spectroscopy. Photometry involves measuring the star's light output over time, revealing patterns in its brightness and helping track the pulsations of stars like Betelgeuse. 
These light curves provide a direct window into the star's behavior, making it possible to detect changes that may not be immediately visible to the naked eye. Spectroscopy, on the other hand, analyzes the light emitted by the star across different wavelengths. This method uncovers details about the star's temperature, composition, and motion. When Beetledge pulsates, its spectral lines shift, revealing crucial information about the internal processes driving those pulsations. By combining data from photometry and spectroscopy, scientists can construct detailed models of stellar behavior. These models use the laws of physics, including equations governing fluid dynamics, thermodynamics, and nuclear fusion, to simulate the inner workings of stars. Using powerful computers, astrophysicists can test how various internal conditions affect a star's pulsations and predict future changes in its structure and luminosity. These simulations bridge the gap between theory and observation, allowing researchers to test hypotheses against real data gathered from telescopes. One especially fascinating process within Beetledge is stellar convection. As energy is produced in the core through fusion, it moves outward toward the star's surface. In red supergiants, this energy transport occurs through convective currents. Hot plasma rises from the interior toward the surface while cooler material sinks back down, forming a churning, dynamic system that transfers energy through motion. These convection currents cause fluctuations in the energy reaching the star's outer layers, affecting its brightness. When more energy reaches the surface, the star appears brighter. When less energy arrives, it dims. This dynamic transport of energy contributes significantly to the pulsating nature of Beetledge. These pulsations are not mere random fluctuations but often follow discernible patterns, especially in variable stars like Beetledge. The cycles of brightness are intricately linked to the expansion and contraction of the star's outer envelope. As the star expands, its surface area increases, causing the outer layers to cool and darken. As Beetledge approaches the final stages of its stellar life, these pulsations and convective processes become more pronounced. The changes are not only a spectacle for astronomers but also a cosmic warning sign, a reminder that stars, no matter how majestic, are mortal in astronomical terms. The instability and irregular brightness suggest that Beetledge could be moving closer to a dramatic end, possibly a supernova explosion that would briefly outshine entire galaxies and be visible from Earth even during the day. The scientific community watches closely, aware that such an event, while potentially centuries away, could also happen within our lifetimes. As Beetledge approaches the final stages of its stellar life, these pulsations and convective processes become more pronounced. The changes are not only a spectacle for astronomers but also a cosmic warning sign, a reminder that stars, no matter how majestic, are mortal in astronomical terms. The instability and irregular brightness suggest that Beetledge could be moving closer to a dramatic end, possibly a supernova explosion that would briefly outshine entire galaxies and be visible from Earth even during the day. The scientific community watches closely, aware that such an event, while potentially centuries away, could also happen within our lifetimes. If Beetledge were to go supernova, the consequences for our planet would be both fascinating and reassuring. Astronomers calculate that despite its colossal energy release, its distance of 640 light-years means the explosion would pose no direct threat to life on Earth. The sheer luminosity, however, would be unprecedented for modern observers. The night sky would blaze with a brilliant point of light, rivaling the moon in brightness, and its afterglow would linger for months or even years. Ancient records from Chinese and Arabic astronomers document similar events, where guest stars suddenly appeared in the heavens and then faded away, a phenomenon we now understand as supernovae. The cultural impact of such a display would be immense. Humanity has always been deeply moved by celestial events, interpreting them through the lenses of mythology, religion, and science. In ancient times, the sudden brightening of a star might have been seen as a divine omen, a sign from the gods foretelling war, famine, or change. Today, our understanding is grounded in astrophysics, but the emotional and symbolic resonance of such a sight would still be profound. Millions around the world would step outside at night, gazing upward in or at a spectacle that connects us both to our ancestors and to the vast processes that govern the universe. Scientifically, a beat-led supernova would be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Modern telescopes, from ground-based observatories to orbital instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, would turn their focus on the event, capturing its progression in exquisite detail across the electromagnetic spectrum. From the